Aladdin and the Magical Lamp Once upon a time, in a distant country, there was a young man named Aladdin, who had lost his father at a young age. He and his mother depended on a small tailor shop in the market. Are you Aladdin? Yes, I am. So it is you. Your father is my brother. I've been looking for your family for a long time. At last I found you. Yeah, when he was alive, my father mentioned a distant brother who lived far away. Yes, that's me. I came today wanting to take you to a secret treasure right now. Follow me. Secret treasure? But my mom just went out. Can we wait a while so she can come home? Just close the store. We should go as soon as possible or you'll miss the opportunity. We have to cross the desert too. We have arrived, kid. Now, in order to enter the treasure, you must absolutely do what I say. Yes, sir. Here we go. You are not an ordinary person. No problem, just open the cave. Only you can pass through this small cave. Now, here are your instructions. You go inside, you'll find some stairs leading to an orchard. You must not pick anything there. You have to go straight to the end of the orchard where there is an ancient lamp. And your job is to bring that lamp to me. Take this ring, it will protect you. There's nothing to be afraid of. Now, Come on quickly. Come in quickly, boy. Get the lamp out. Oh, I've never seen such a strange orchard. The fruits are made of precious jewels. Why does he only want to take this old lamp? Meanwhile, I'm surrounded by pearls and jewels. I have to take some. Help! Help me! Hurry! Throw the lamp up to me. I can't come up. Please save me. The cave is about to collapse. Throw the lamp up to me. Throw it. No, help me. Open the cave for me. Open the cave for me. Huh, you useless brat. The cave door will not be opened again. You have ruined my plan. Stay there and die. Help, save me. You can't do this to me. Sir, I am the magic ring, your slave. How can I help you? I... I want to go home. Save me from here, please. Gosh, where have you been home so late? I have been looking for you. Mom, I never thought I was coming home again. Here is the lamp, Mom. See if it still can be used. It's a very old lamp. Let me clean it. My master, I am your slave because you have the lamp. Please just tell me what it is you need. Your wish is my command. My son and I are hungry. We want a hearty meal. Right away, master. What a wonderful lamp! We have a treasure that can make all our wishes come true, Mom. One day, Aladdin saw the princess of the kingdom while she was traveling in the city. Her beauty charmed Aladdin. What? You want me to ask you to marry the princess? Oh, that's too much, my son. Our family. Mom, please bring me some of the fruits made of jewels. The last time I brought you to the king's palace and I asked her to marry me. And this time the king will listen to me. I have not seen any jewels this rare. Her son must be a talented boy. Which means there must be an elite young man in the kingdom that I've never heard of. Me and Princess will be visiting your house tomorrow. Ah, yes. It is very much our honor. Dear, our house is too shabby. How can we have the king and princess in here? Not to mention the fact that yesterday I asked about marrying the princess for you. Did you forget that we still have a magical lamp? Everything will be fine, Mom. This time, let me come to see the king myself. Great, genie. Now, give me a royal outfit and a beautiful white horse to go meet the king and the princess. Right away, master. 
The king was very pleased with Aladdin's appearance at his palace. The princess was also charmed by him at first sight. Aladdin then became the son-in-law of the king and lived happily with the princess. Hmm, I will take back everything that you have. Here's my chance. New lamps for old! New lamps for old! Oh, Aladdin will be happy! If I exchange his lamp for a brand new one, his lamp is quite old. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Master. I am your slave because you have the lamp. So please tell me what you wish for. You are finally mine. So move this palace and of course the beautiful princess too quickly to a place as far away as possible for me and to a place where no human can reach. <laughs> As you wish, Master. Oh God, my princess and my palace. What do I do now? My Master Genie is way stronger than me, so I can't bring the palace and princess back, but I can teleport you to the princess. It's all my fault. Calm down, I'm here. Now, you just need to do what I say, and we'll get rid of the wizard. You finally obey me. That's good. Good, good. Very good. Master, I'm ready to receive your orders. Move the palace back to the original place for me and let that wizard stay in this deserted place forever. All hail the brilliant Prince Aladdin. Not only has he defeated the wizard, he has also made our lives better. With the help of the genie, Aladdin helped many poor people in the kingdom and punished evil people. The story of King Aladdin has remained a legend and will be told forever after.